Well, it's been a full year now of using Thousand Trails. Yes. That seemed like it kind of flew by. Yeah. However, not much has changed between the first six months when we did a review. We told you we'd come back at the year mark and <laughs> finish it up. Yeah. Tell you about the full year. But in the last six months, we've only stayed three weeks in Thousand Trails properties. <laughs> yeah. Just because of the part of the country we've been but traveling in. I was just in. about to say, we stayed in the West, which doesn't have Thousand Trails. Yeah, but like we said, oh, Midwest. we will come back and do the one year. So we'll do the full, full year, year update and let you know how much we've saved, how we're liking it, and all that stuff. Okay. First, we'll talk about the type of membership that we have. We have a pre-owned Elite Basic membership. Yes. And so basically that allows us to go 120 days out on booking mm -hmm. for regular thousand trails, Correct. Um, 60 days out for a trails collection. Mm -hmm. And then it allows us to stay up to three weeks at a time and we can go, go park, park to park. park. Yeah. So it works well for us. Yes. Uh, we don't really stay three weeks at a time very often, but it's no, nice to have that option. Yeah. They've been few and far, but it's good to know it's there if we need it. Yeah, and we purchased it through Campground Membership Outlet and uh, Kimberly helped yes. us out with that about a year ago. Yep. And so we appreciate that. Uh, we'll leave a link down in the description if you want to go check out Campground mm -hmm. Membership Outlets. They do other stuff besides Thousand Trails, but uh, if you do pop over there and happen to purchase a membership, please let uh, them and Kimberly know that uh, we sent you. We appreciate that. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the initial investment. So. The initial investment for us for the pre-owned membership that we selected was forty-three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. which sounds like a lot. But when you talk about, you know, compared to what a new one is. Well, yeah, compared to what a new one is, and compared to what campground, uh, what campgrounds cost, cost to stay in general, in, yeah, it's it's a pretty good deal. Yes, um, we would have by far broke even a long time ago had oh, we yeah. stayed exclusively in Thousand Trails. Yes, but because we're not easily. It's taken us a lot longer to break even. Yeah. And that's okay. We knew that. And we're fine with that. Yeah. Because yeah. we knew that we're just still going to go where we're going to go, where we want to go. And if there happens to be a thousand trails, bonus. Yeah. And, and the, the, the times that we get to spend more like East Coast in our travels during a year mm -hmm. will benefit way more in thousand trails because there's more on the East Coast. Well, there is a then, lot on the west coast once you get to the coast. Well, yeah, you have to be coast to coast. But, but yeah, yeah, depending on our travel plans, when we're furthest east and furthest west is where we'll benefit the most out of our membership. Yeah, and we'll throw up an overlay of the map so you can kind of see where all the Thousand Trails properties are to kind of see what we're talking about. Most of the properties are coastal, not yeah, a lot in the like middle. They go down and this way. Yeah. <laughs> and so we supplement that through, you know, um, the trails collection, mm -hmm. RPI, RPI, military campgrounds and stuff like that. Yes. Um, but anyway, so our initial investment was $4,300 for the Thousand Trails membership. Mm -hmm. um, we added on the Trails Collection for $300 mm -hmm. a year. And then RPI okay. is $125 mm -hmm. a year. That's not free stays. That's just very, discounted. very discounted stays. Yes. And select parks. And a lot of those are kind of more middle. So you can stay at some RPIs where there are not Thousand Trails Tra properties. Exactly. So that's nice. They're fillers. Yeah, so our total investment was $5,300 initially mm -hmm. uh, at this time last year. And so now let's talk about the savings. And it's kind of hard to figure out what the savings are, but we just went and based it on like what an average week is anywhere USA. Because, you know, some places it's like 300 bucks, some places like 170, 175. Mm -hmm. So about the average is about 225. So that's what we've based it on to try to to try to gauge where we are in in breaking even. Okay. So um, for this whole year, we stayed 12 total weeks at Thousand Trails, like Thousand Trails proper properties. Okay. We stayed seven weeks at Trails Collection properties, and then we stayed two weeks at RPI. So based on all of that. Um, we had a total savings of four thousand five hundred and sixty dollars. Okay. It's not an even number because the RPIs we didn't save the whole, whole two twenty five. Yeah. Because they do charge you a little bit. So yeah. we only we didn't save the whole two twenty five per week when we stayed at the RPIs. So that kinks yeah. the math up a little okay, bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that puts us at a place where um, we're seven hundred and forty dollars short of breaking even, which is about four weeks 
of a stay. Okay. So four more weeks Wait. and we're and we're even. However, <laughs> it's time to pay our dues. It is due time. Yeah, so our dues for Thousand Trails is five seventy five per year. Mm -hmm. uh, this varies depending on which package, package you buy. You purchased. Correct. How old your package is, mm -hmm. if you buy a pre owned one. There's different ones and some your dues, you know, sometimes will go up. Yes. So it changes too. Mm -hmm. And our dues will probably go up eventually too. But yeah, for this time year will. it's five seventy five. The trails collection went from three hundred dollars up to three hundred and fifteen dollars. So we're paying fifteen dollars more, more this year. Yeah. Uh, for the trails collection. RPI stayed the same at one twenty five for the year. So with all those together, um, now our annual cost this year is one thousand and fifteen dollars. So we're a little farther from breaking even now. Because <laughs> we were only we were yeah. only seven hundred and forty dollars short. Now we're one thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollars <laughs> short of breaking even. So it's gonna take us eight more weeks of staying in thousand trails or trails collection properties to break even. Yeah. If we stay at RPIs, maybe a little, a little. even even longer. Yeah. Um however, th this is the good part. I like good parts. The good part is after we leave where we are currently sitting at this RV park, uh -huh. we're in Thousand Trails properties for the next seven weeks. Is it really seven weeks? Seven weeks okay. in a row. So, so after that little stint, we'll be one week shy of totally breaking even. And everything after that is just bonus. The problem is after those seven weeks, we don't stay at Thousand Trails for a long, a long time. time. <laughs> <laughs> like it might be, you know, it might not be that much savings this year. Sure. Gotcha. Just because of where we're going to be traveling through. So I think we'll break even pretty quickly into this next year. Yeah. But I don't think we'll get much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Just because where we're going to be. Yeah, because we've already been working on next year's route. Yeah. So the things, there's certain things we want to hit next year. So we're looking at what's the best routes to those things. And, and there's a, no thousand trails. And unfortunately, we have to go through the middle of the country again. Yeah. And no thousand trails. Well, I did a little bit more math and kind of figure out now that we're going to be done with uh, paying ourselves back on the initial investment. Yeah. Um, how often you got to stay in thousand trails to sustain that? Because every year your dues come up. Yeah. It's going to be a little over a thousand bucks. And so I figured. Even with the dues going up a little bit, the cost of the trails collection goes up a little bit, RPI goes up a little bit over the years. Yeah. Uh, but so is the average cost of staying in a campground. Camp so yes. I figure if you can stay at a thousand trails um, Maybe two, for two months? Five, about five weeks out of the year, five mm -hmm. to six weeks out of the year, you're break even. You, you cover your dues. Yeah, you're good. Um, the other question, and we get this a lot, is how do we like the actual campgrounds themselves? and they're not all winners yeah they're they're hit or miss and you know honestly most of the thousand trails that we go to need some work yes they do upgrades updates um a lot of them have sites that are closed because they're broken yeah uh, a lot of that due to due to power issues a lot you'll see a lot of bag covered pedestals mm -hmm. and you know more and more people are joining the thousand trails community we can't close campsites, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We need all, every space available. Yeah, and so it's frustrating um, when you get to a, a thousand trails and there's not really a good fit for your RV. Yeah. Because at thousand trails, there you get a reservation, but you don't get a reserved spot. That's right. First come, first serve on spot. So you just go in and you. Fingers crossed. Hope there's a good spot for you. Yeah. And a lot of the thousand trails where especially out here we're finding out west is power water only at yeah, thousand no, trails. I'm not digging that. And so that's even worse. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, some of them they'll have like uh they'll have like ten spots that are full hookups. Yeah. And half of those ten <laughs> are taken by full timers that like permanent. Yeah. That are living there, which I don't think is right. And three out of the five remaining have a bag on the pedestal. <laughs> So you got like two spots to choose from yeah. and they're gone. And then we also noticed out here in the West that 50 amp is not popular at all. No, of them. most of them Mo are 30 majority amps. Majority of them are 30 amps, which I'm not a big fan yeah. of. And without sewer, 
because you can stay three weeks but without without sewer hookups yeah. you're either hooking your rv up taking it to the dump station or using the little the little tow behind tow, yeah the tote, tote. Uh, which either way that's it's not still a hassle it's yeah. not fun yeah so even though it's free well not free but i mean even mm. though yeah, once you pay yourself back it's free yeah um sometimes i'd rather just pay for a, a place for the convenience and we have <laughs> and we have yeah we have <laughs> so i'm like ah oh, man i want on spots that we've planned to stay longer than yeah. the average week that we normally do we we're like yeah we could save a bunch of money if we stay in that chance but we're not going to enjoy ourselves over there so i'd rather just pay and have yeah. all the luxuries that i want if we're staying just a week it's no issue yeah we'll suck it up because really uh, i have to move a little bit of gray water over to the dump station a couple of times yeah and we can dump the black tank on the way, on the way out, out yeah and we're good to go but it is frustrating yeah i wish that uh, all thousand trails for just all full hookups yeah all functioning spaces with no technical <laughs> issues oh. uh, in a perfect world you're asking for a lot <laughs> yeah in a perfect world thousand trails would be just ideal yeah yes but reality is sometimes it's just not that's right and i think that eventually you know sadly um we will probably outgrow thousand trails yeah just because a lot of the thousand trails there's not a lot of stuff to do around them yeah some of them are pretty remote a lot of them don't have great internet which we also like to have our good yeah. internet um and so you're not going to go back to those multiple times and struggle yeah even the ones you you really love you're not going to go back there a lot because you're just going to run out of you've, stuff to you've do you've saturated and, and, that yeah, area and, and things to see so yeah um i think once we hit all the thousand trails i mean kind of like if we, down the road if we get to the point where we want to like just half the year somewhere half the year somewhere else and still keep the thousand trails we we could do yeah. seasonals in sure. and bounce back that'd be fine yeah, it's like down in Florida, you can, you know, there's 3,000 trails. There's there's several trails collection, but there's 3,000 trails 8, that you can go trails. park to yeah. park from. So, you know, you can do three weeks at one, hop to another, do three weeks, hop to another, do three weeks. Just kind of do the triangle thing. Yeah. Um, but then again, you run out of stuff to do. Yeah. So, I don't know, it, you know, how long this will be a feasible thing for us. I think that, you yeah. know, later on down the road, it'll be like here and there, we'll get a free week or two. But yeah. for the most part, we're not going to just travel Thousand Trails exclusively. Yeah, no, that's not that wasn't our intent getting it in the first place. No, but I think Thousand Trails does serve a purpose yeah. uh, for uh, a lot of people. Yeah. Um, we know people who who couldn't even live this lifestyle if it weren't, if it weren't for Thousand and trails, trails because and harvest hose that just wouldn't work out with their budget. Yeah. So they make that initial investment. And they stay exclu almost exclusively in Thousand Trails. Yes. And so they're not spending hardly any money at all. Yeah, which is great. The downfall is you're seeing all the same places yes. over and over again, you know. Yeah. And you're trying to, um, it's long travel days a lot of times too because the distance between th yeah. Thousand Trails. Well, that's where you got your fillers. Yeah. But, you know, if you're going to, if you got to go like, you know, uh, several hundred miles from one well, to another. Yeah. yeah. Then you're talking about you know long travel days or staying the night at a harvest host or a cracker barrel or walmart or something like yeah. that and then we don't like to That's travel that way travel. yeah some people yeah. really enjoy that yeah we're not those people so worth it to some not worth it to others um it's working for us now yes uh we'll continue to use it and it's really no harm no foul at this point because you know after the next several weeks here we're going to be we'll paid be, off yeah and so after that yeah, we, if we use it cool if we don't cool don't uh, all of our stays from here on out are just bonus as long as we can stay in at least five weeks a, a year which i don't see being yeah. difficult at all anyway. it'll be fine so yeah but if you do go over to campground membership outlet again we'll put a link in the description if you go over there tell them the way we're wag sent you right. we appreciate it and tell kimberly we said hi yeah <laughs> she's a rock star yeah um I think that's it for Thousand Trails. We hope we answered any questions. If you have any more questions about Thousand Trails or something we didn't cover, uh, leave us a comment. We'll be happy to answer your questions. Yeah. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is also down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.